Thomas A. Kempis, CRSA C, 1380 July 1471, was a German-Dutch canon regular of the late medieval period and the author of The Imitation of Christ, one of the most popular and best-known Christian books on devotion. His name means Thomas of Kempen, his hometown, and in German he is known as Thomas von Kempen in Dutch, Thomas van Kempen. He was a member of the Modern Devotion, a spiritual movement during the late medieval period, and a follower of Geert Groot and Florence Radewins, the founders of the Brethren of the Common Life. Life Thomas was born in Kempen in the Rhineland. His surname at birth was Hemmerken, literally, Hammerken. Little Hammer. His father Johann was a blacksmith and his mother Gertrude was a schoolmistress. In 1392, Thomas followed his brother, Johann, to Deventer in the Netherlands in order to attend the noted Latin school there. While attending this school, Thomas encountered the Brethren of the Common Life, followers of Gerard Groot's modern devotion. He attended school in Deventer from 1392 to 1399. After leaving school, Thomas went to the nearby city of Svola to visit his brother again, after Johann had become the prior of the monastery of Mount St. Agnes there. This community was one of the canons regular of the Congregation of Windesheim, founded by disciples of Groot in order to provide a way of life more in keeping with the norms of monastic life of the period. Thomas himself entered Mount St. Agnes in 1406. He was not ordained a priest, however, until almost a decade later. He became a prolific copyist and writer. Thomas received holy orders in 1413 and was made sub-prior of the monastery in 1429. His first tenure of office as sub-prior was interrupted by the exile of the community from Agnettenburg 1429. A dispute had arisen in connection with an appointment to the vacant see of Utrecht. Pope Martin V rejected the nomination of bishop-elect Rudolf van Diepholt, and imposed an interdict. The canons remained in exile in observance of the interdict until the question was settled 1432. During this time, Thomas was sent to Arnhem to care for his ailing brother. He remained there until his brother died November, 1432, otherwise, Thomas spent his time between devotional exercises, composition, and copying. He copied the Bible no fewer than four times, one of the copies being preserved at Darmstadt, Germany in five volumes. In its teachings he was widely read and his works abound in biblical quotations, especially from the New Testament. As subprior he was charged with instructing novices, and in that capacity wrote four booklets between 1420 and 1427, later collected and named after the title of the first chapter of the first booklet, The Imitation of Christ. Thomas More said it was one of the three books everybody ought to own. Thomas died near Svola in 1471. Topic: <laughs> Works. Thomas A Kempis wrote the biographies of New Devotion members: Gerard Groot, Floris Radwins, Jan van de Grande, and Jan Brinkerink. His important works include a series of sermons to the novices of St. Augustine Monastery, including prayers and meditations on the life of Christ, meditations on the incarnation of Christ, of true compunction of heart, soliloquy of the soul, garden of roses, valley of lilies, and a life of St. Lidwina of Shedham. Kempis's 1441 autograph manuscript of the Imitation of Christ is available in the Bibliothèque Royale in Brussels catalog, MS 5455-61. Topic. Quotations The following quotes are attributed to him Without the way, there is no going Without the truth, there is no knowing Without the life, there is no living quote, quote, If thou wilt receive profit, read with humility, simplicity, and faith, and seek not at any time the fame of being learned quote, quote, At the day of judgment we shall not be asked what we have read, but what we have done the Imitation of Christ, Book 1, ch. 3 inches. For man proposes, but God disposes. The Imitation of Christ, Book 1, ch. 19 inches. If, however, you seek Jesus in all things, you will surely find him. The Imitation of Christ, Book 2, ch. 7 inches. In Angelo cum Labello. With slight variations. In a little corner with a little book. Shortened form of a motto often ascribed to, or associated with, Thomas Akempis. 
The complete saying is reported by an early biographer as a mixture of Latin and Dutch and runs as follows. In omnibus requiem quasivi, sed non inveni, nisi in hoegskens and a boegskens. I have sought everywhere for peace, but I have found it not save in nooks and in books. Veneration A monument was dedicated to his memory in the presence of the Archbishop of Utrecht in St. Michael's Church, Svola, on November 11, 1897. In 1964, this church closed causing his shrine to be moved to a new St. Michael's Church outside the center of Svola. In 2005, this church also closed and his shrine was moved to the Ons Lee Vrouw 10 Hemeloming Kirk Assumption of Mary Church in the center of Svola. Notes References This article incorporates public domain material from the New Schaff Herzog Encyclopedia of Religious Knowledge, Vol. V. Innocence Luger, Schaff, Philip. Thomas A. Kempis 2007, The Imitation of Christ, Philoquarian, ISBN 1-59986-979-9 Thomas A. Kempis 2005, The Imitation of Christ, A Spiritual Commentary and Reader's Guide, Ave Maria Press, ISBN 0-87061-234-4 Thomas A. Kempis 1989, William C. Creasy, ed., The Imitation of Christ, Mercer University Press, ISBN 0-86554-339-9 Thomas A. Kempis 1955, Harold C. Gardner, S.J., ed., The Imitation of Christ, Doubleday, ISBN 978-0-375-70018-7 Chisholm, Hugh, ed., 1911. Thomas A. Kempis. Encyclopædia Britannica. 26 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Scully, Vincent Joseph Henry 1912. Thomas A. Kempis. In Herbermann, Charles. Catholic Encyclopedia, 14. New York, Robert Appleton Company. <laughs> External links Read Imitation of Christ Online Quotes from Thomas A. Kempis Works by Thomas A. Kempis at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Thomas A. Kempis at Internet Archive Works by Thomas A. Kempis at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks Imitation of Christ in PDF Devotio Moderna <laughs>